Hi, welcome. I'm Monica Barber. We are here in Los Angeles, California for the Holly Shorts. And with me to my right, your screen left, is David Pator. Martin Porras. Martin, Martin Porras. Porras. Thank you. Thank you. And um, he is here. He's a director. And he actually has a short here uh, featuring in the Holly Shorts Film Festival. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. Again, well, basically, welcome, David. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes. So you have an accent? Yes, I do. I am from Spain, uh, from a small town uh, near Madrid called Salamanca. And how long have you lived here in Los Angeles? I've been in Los Angeles for eight years. I came here in 2006 to study in UCLA in the film school, and I graduated there. And after that, I started working and developing projects here and started a company as well with other Spanish filmmakers, Spanish oh. filmmakers, and uh, that's how uh, I decided to stay. So how, uh, you said you went to the um, UCLA, right? Correct. How, how difficult is it to get into UCLA film? Because it is a very difficult program. It's a, it's a very difficult program, yes, but, um, uh, and actually I applied to other f to other schools and I didn't get into all of them. Um, I Did got you get into a few? Uh, I got into a few. So I got you're in pretty good then. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I can't complain, I had some options to choose from, uh, but I, there are other options that I wanted that as well that didn't accept me. So if you're applying to film school, don't feel bad at all for being, re if you get rejected, you know, just apply next year um, if there is a school that you really want to go. And it's some it's experience that I recommend to every filmmaker for sure. Right, right. Fil so film school is pretty important, wouldn't you say, as a, as a filmmaker? It's not necessary. I mean, you can definitely learn things by your own, you know, you can learn the kind of shots. And what if someone doesn't have enough money to... Provide, agree, you know? agree, exactly. Well, uh, my suggestion is like watch as many movies as you can and read as many books as you can about this and um, go to festivals like Holy Shorts, you know, and uh, mingle with the filmmakers, you know, and uh, be curious about what other people are doing and how they're doing it. And that's already uh, a film school. Uh, what I find very valuable from film school is that it speed, us the, it speed up the process. So you learn in three, four years what you learn outside f in 10. And also you build a whole network, you know, or your classmates, you know, um, when they're out there in the market, in the industry, they become, they grow as well, like you grow and you ha end up helping each other. And that's a good point because I know that there are when when other filmmakers when when they do create a project a lot of times you call on your classmates or you make these connections within the school and sometimes you collaborate together is that correct yes yes that's correct and like I said um, filmmaking is all about networking and uh, in order to keep like getting gigs you know to keep working and also when you're making your own movies um, if you're an independent filmmaker, you probably don't have a big budget, so you cannot pay every single person in the crew. So it's always nice to have people that can help you. Um, so definitely those classmates, you know, come very in handy. <laughs> Coming in handy. Okay, so, um, so tell me a little bit about when you were growing up. Uh, were you, did you always want to be a filmmaker? You were a storyteller, would you say, when you were younger? Or I, I think always a storyteller. I always enjoy telling stories. Um, my mom is a pharmacist, and I would, like, after high school, spend a lot of hours behind the counter waiting for my mom to close the store. And I would hear all kind of crazy stories, you know, like attempt on suicide or, uh, oh, really? I, okay. or not wanted pregnancy and stuff like that, things you can hear in a pharmacy. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So it was like, I always, like, was used to like hear kind of stories that I, and I always want to tell them you know and share them in a different way you know with my with my friends at the beginning I wanted to be a writer but then when I started when I studied um, film history class in college is when I realized that a film was my expression of art and um, and so did you watch a lot of television I mean I know you heard the stories but did you watch television when you were small and did you watch American television uh, well yes in Spain uh, American television like everywhere I think it's very popular um, sitcoms were huge in Spain when I was well, younger. what was your favorite one I mean we I was a big fan of friends a uh, Prince of Bel Air um, family matters all those were huge uh, in are, are they translated or are they in English? Yes, they are translated. They dub everything in Spain. Oh, do they? Okay. Yes, we they don't we don't do well with subtitles. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so 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 you're a filmmaker, and you've been out of school for how long? Um, I did uh, four years of college and four years of film school. Oh, so you did four years of college and four years? Yeah, well, it's a graduate student. It's ah. a, I did an MFA. Oh, an MFA. Okay, and then so how long have you been out of the MFA program? I've been out, uh, I graduated in 2010, so four years already. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and so since then, in 2010, I directed my first feature, an independent film called uh, Stealing Summers with the song. How long ago was that? That was in 2010. Um, we shot it in Buenos Aires, it's in English, but set in Buenos Aires, in Argentina. And after that, I got into the ABC directing program. And then... Uh, now, what is that? It's a program that, uh, like other networks have, in order to um, find new talent, to um, get you into the TV world so you can start directing episodes for television, for oh, network television. Okay, okay. So basically what you do is you shadow directors on different ABC shows. NBC has another one, CBS as well. I, I never heard of that. That's interesting. It's very interesting, yeah. yeah. We're 12 directors for two years. That's how I met Regina King, who is, the star, who is one of the leads in my, in my short film. Was she an actress? She is an uh, yes, uh, exactly. She was an actress in my short, and she was you know by that time she was the lead in Southland, the cop show. Okay. And but she was in the ABC program because she wants to direct as well, and actually she's doing pretty well directing television. Now, now your first your first movie you you shot in Argentina. Correct. And but it was in English. Yes. No, why was that? Because um, the script, which I didn't write actually, it was. Um, um, I was a director for hire, which is a very weir weird case, you know, because for your first, the first time you direct a feature, normally it's your movie that you write. And it's a full feature. It's a full feature, yes. Now, now tell, tell the audience, what's the difference between, say, a short and a full feature? Well, a short film, uh, according to the Academy standards, uh, a feature has to be above 86 minutes. Eight, uh, no, 68 minutes. Oh, that's so the that's what the Academy uh, says it's a feature. So a anything above that. Um, longer than that, it's a feature. And and below that, what's the And cutoff? below that, I mean, I wouldn't recommend making a short film longer than 30 minutes. I mean, yeah, 30 minutes is already long for me. Uh, I like to keep them 15 or shorter. Okay, that, that's good. That's good to know. Um, okay, so going back to the Ar uh, filming and in Argen Argentina. Well, so in, uh, the reason why we went to shoot there is because the movie, the, the story was calling for it. It's about three American expats living in Buenos Aires. They run out of money, they have to come back to the States, but they don't want to uh, live the life that they have there. So they uh, decide to rob um, an Argentinian mafioso. It's a, hi it's a heist movie. Oh, that, is it a comedy or is it a... Um, no, it has funny moments, but it's more like a drama, thriller, crime movie. Oh, okay. And then, and can we see it somewhere? Yes, you can order it uh, online, uh, Netflix, you know, DVD. Oh, okay, uh, and what's the name of it again? Stealing Summers. Stealing Summers, okay, so Stealing Summers, that's good to know. Okay, so tell us about your current project and why you're here at the Holly Shorts. Well, the Korean project, actually, it's bigger than the short film. What I have here in Shorty, Holly Shorts is the short film Inside the Box, which is based on a feature film that I wrote. Uh, I've been working on it for the last year and a half. The feature? Yes, okay. correct. And so... It's true that a lot of filmmakers uh, made a, a short film, you know, based on a feature in order to um, to get, get some attention, you know, on the for the feature. Uh, and you know, that's a good point because I know I met some of the other short filmmakers, and that's exactly what they seem to do, where they actually make a short in order, t and that's like the prelude to the actual feature. It, it helps you when when you're like trying to tell it. If you're a first-time director, you know, you don't have like much experience, you know, and people still don't. Uh, trust you yet because they haven't seen enough of you. It's always good to um, shoot something, a teaser or a short film that is done as its own, similar to the material that you want to shoot in the future. So they, so you can prove what you can do. Okay. And it's a great exercise also. Right, I bet, because then you can kind of test the waters and make your mistakes. And Correct. Right. Um, what's the difference between a director and a cinematographer? Well, Huge one. Uh, I mean, the cinematographer is uh, because, the because the cinematographer is, is going to tell your story, the director's the, story. He's the he's the head of the camera department. Okay. So he's in charge of framing the camera and lighting the frame. Um, but uh, the director is the one who sees the whole picture. Who is in charge of not only um, interpreting the script. And through that interpretation, giving the give directions to the actors and all the departments, but also works with the cinematographer in deciding the shot list, the camera movements, and uh, the kind of lighting and color 